So, ganito yung itsura niya, guys. Diba pa akong pato? Tapos isusot mo pa yung face yun. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ken. So, kung bago ka lang sa vlog na to, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Huwag mo na rin kalimutan i-click yung notification bell so that you will be updated on my next coming upload. So, a lot of you guys were requesting for an updated vlog, especially kung ano yung naging review ko or full review about this product. Uh, we all know naman how very important this is, which is a face mask to protect us from what's happening right now, which is the pandemic thing, tas mga virus na ganyan, saka kung ano-ano sakit. Guys, I've been using it for like two months. So I can tell naman na like uh, what are the pros and cons in regards with this product. This is not sponsored, so I'll definitely be honest in regards with this one. At malalaman natin kung sulit ba siya, worth it, or it's just being high. And this one costs like 5,000 pesos. What? I think ngayon medyo mas mahal na siya slightly kasi I think due to its high demand. It comes with a box, ayan, with manuals at saka kung ano-ano. And then the uh, strap itself. Originally it comes with the white strap. Kung bibili ka ng mang mask na to, it comes with the white mask. So mo naman ng extra shell, it comes with like four different colors. Like meron yung blue, there's also the black and then there's also the red and then the white so a total of four pero yung mga spare na ganito you can just buy it from them directly let me open the white one just for reference ganito yung itsura niya pa naman siyang sturdy guys it's made from plastic pero hindi naman siya yung mumurahing plastic or what not it comes with a pouch then which is a good thing pero ang na-notice ko yung mga lately lang na nag-order for some reason I think it does not come with a pouch what? So probably nahirapan na rin yung factory or whatnot na gumagawa nito. So they were not able to uh, provide this one. Pero hopefully the ones that are selling online, they should at least give a discount for and that. When I bought it guys, it comes with this kind of strap. Para siyang uh, goma or silicone something na matigas. Hindi siyang sobrang lambot guys ha. And... One thing na na-notice ko is if I'm wearing it in a long run, ganito yung, ganito yung paglagay, guys. Mabilis na naman siya. Ayan, you'll just have to attach this one. There's a lock mechanism. Ganyan yung itsura niya, guys. You can still hear me clear pa naman, I think. Even I'm wearing, this is how it sounds. Ganito yung tunog kong nakasuot na. Um, they can still hear you, pero sometimes they can't. Especially if you like, you can still hear me clear pa naman. Like, uh, even I'm wearing this one. Ang na-notice ko lang dito, guys, is masakit siya dito sa may ano ng tenga, this one. Especially kung if you're using, like, uh, headphones, like itong Beats, especially yung Beats, guys, like, sobrang masakit na kasi to itself in a long run kasi hindi siya comfortable kasi talagang siksik. So, um, I would definitely not recommend using this in the long run kasi ang sakit. Pero even I'm not wearing this with this strap, masakit talaga siya sa tenga. Itong part na to, kasi hindi siya malambot na malambot. So, medyo matigas siya. I have no idea why it why it does that, especially on my left side. And uh, ang na-notice ko is, you can adjust it, pero still, nag-try na ako ng ibang adjustment. Yun yung problema. Sure, so ang ginagawa ko na lang, hindi ko masyadong nilalawit. Uh, there's a solution for that, but I will tell that to you later on. Aside from that, ang napansin ko rin is yung silicone, like what I've said, I've been using it in the long run. And yung silicone naman, guys, is talagang matibay. Wala pa akong nakitang, like, parang nagbabakbak or whatnot. Matibay naman yung silicone niya. Kahit naman sa mga surgical mask, guys, na-experience ko rin yun, or yung sa mga regular na mask, is... Kasi since silicone to, lalo kung tigyawatin ka, I'm not sure ah, yung mga ibang nakatry dyan. Like, in this area, hindi ako tinitigyawat. Matigyawat kasi ako before. And Bruh. right now, occasional na lang ako tinitigyawat. Pero na-notice ko, when I was wearing this, like, nagjo-jogging ako or whatnot. So, hindi nakakahinga yung pores. And ganun talaga pag natakpan yung mukha. And you end, I end up getting, like, an acne in this part. Dito sa may part na to at saka dito sa may, lo sa may chin area ko. Meron pa rin ako, pero nagda-dry na. Yun yung problema kahit linisan mo siya on a daily basis before you use it. So, yun lang yung 
napapan, mapapansin mo, lalo kung tigyawatin ka. I think rare naman yung may allergy when it comes to silicon-based na mga product. Sturdy naman siya, guys. Nalaglag ko na to, naupuan or whatnot. Hindi naman siya nakakra. And at the same time, hindi pa naman siya nagka... Tawag dito, walang damage. Dun sa problema ko, guys, when it comes to the ears, the good thing is they have a accessories for it. So, meron sila nitong sports strap. Ito yung ginagamit ko. Hindi ko na siya install kasi ang hassle minsan. Pero ganito yung itsura niya pag in-install mo. Dito na siya pupunta and definitely hindi na ma-irritate yung ears mo. The last time na I use it is uh, nagpagupit ako one time and I can still wear the mask. Kasi pag yung ito lang, tapos ano, mahirap nilang gugupitin dito kasi meron ito nakalawit dito sa tenga mo. Ayun. Bruh. And then, one thing the advantage is mas, mas comfortable ito for me. Ito kasi mabilis lang tanggalin kasi pag naglalaro ako ng badminton off the court and you have to remove it after in an, uh, afterwards pag maglalaro ko ganyan. Medyo hassle kasi ito tanggalin guys as compared to this one. Pero comfortability wise, mas gusto ko to. Huh? Um, this one cost like 1,500 pesos yung accessories. What? So, mahal talaga <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Pero I think it's worth it kung meron ka nito at ginagamit mo and then you're not comfortable with the strap. So, pag-uusapan naman natin yung filter. Uh, dinisinfect ko naman na to, guys. Ganito, kadum madumi siya, guys, yung filter. Ganyan yung itsura niya. Bruh. The advisable thing is you need to replace it for at least two weeks. So, ayan, ganyan kadumi. Talagang makikita mo yung... Oh, no! dumi niya guys and it's kinda it's really dirty and imagine kung nalanghab mo yung mga kung ano-anong bacteria or alikabong yeah. na dyan the only downside with this one is I think mahal I forgot how much it costs pero you can check they already meron na rin sila sa Shopee at sa Casa Lazada they also have like Instagram and Facebook you just have to be careful kasi I think wala pa namang gumagawa ng mga fake na products nito Bro. so ayan yung mga parang counterfeit pag nagjogging ka I tried using this Mahirap talaga huminga sa mask, guys. Pero ito okay lang naman. Pero I still prefer kung magja-jogging kayo mga manipis lang. Kasi wow. as in pag-tight na sila, hindi ka makahinga. Alam mo yung hinihingal ka na tapos nagja-jogging ka pa rin. Medyo mahirap huminga, guys. Uh, the reason na bumili ako nito, guys, kasi naano rin ako dito. Especially in the Philippines, there's a lot of Filipino or people na hindi talaga disiplinado when it comes to proper disposal of this uh, mask. So it end up going into our oceans, lakes, so magpopollute at kung ano-ano. Uh, that's the reason why I bought this. Kasi ito lang naman yung bibili mo. So, it's basically a reusable product. Ayun. Kasi ang hirap kasi nung disposable product eh. If I'm not mistaken, you can wash this. I've seen an article where they're washing it. Maski yung N95 mask. But the problem is, I think, hindi na ganun ka-effective to. So... I would not re really recommend that because after you use it, you have to throw it away. Recently, here in the Philippines, I think we're the only country that is huh? we're in na uh, nire require talaga nilang magsuot ng face shield. If I'm not mistaken, tayo lang yung gumagawa nun. Bruh. And medyo parang overkill, pero like what I said, latay pinapatamaan guys. Pero we have to follow rules because hindi ka talaga magkapasok sa mga uh, establishments and malls here in the Philippines, especially here in Manila. What? If you're not wearing a mask and a face shield, yung face shield guys, you need to wear like the full face shield. Hindi ka nila yala pag nakahalf lang yan. Yung parang ito lang na part or half your face is being shielded by the face shield. I'm gonna go ahead and try and show you pag maglalagay ako ng glasses sa face shield ko ano yung kitsura. Normally, pag sure pag sunny day or what not, you have to wear some shades. Ayan. Uh, the one thing I like about it, guys, is hindi siya nagfafag. As compared, pag nakasuot ka ng ganitong mask, nagfafag yung glasses. So, ganito yung itsura niya, guys. Iba patong-patong, tapos isusuot mo pa yung face shield. <laughs> so, meron one time, sinuot ko rin tong beats, naglalakad ako sa labas, sobrang init, guys. One thing I hate about the face shield is sobrang init. Kasi mainit na to yung mask itself, mainit na siya. Pawis na pawis na yung mukha ko, lalo't pawisin pa man din ako. Talagang tad-tad ng pawis yung mukha mo. Ang hirap din talaga, pero as they always said, rules are rules, so we have to follow it. Wala tayong magagawa dyan. When it comes to cleaning, mabilis lang naman siyang linisan. 
uh, ang ginagawa ko is my baby wipes or ini spread ko siya ng uh, alcohol lang or sometimes Lysol or whatnot. You can also wash the whole thing. Uh, when it comes to pricing, mahal talaga yung mga accessories niya. In Canada, if you're gonna convert it, nasa 3,000 lang supposedly ito. Pero here in the Philippines, it's like 5,000. Well, they pay taxes and all sorts of stuff. That's why it's expensive. Tapos, hindi naman ito. It's not originally made by Philippines. So, talagang mahal siya. Would I recommend it to most Filipinos? Uh, no, I would say kasi talagang sobrang mahal niya. Mahal siya for the mask, I would say. Kasi, uh, let's face it, yung iba nga wala nang kinakain. So, pero, in your like a nurse works in a hospital, a doctor, surgeon, or mga dentist, ganyan, this is really definitely worth it. If you're someone that who could afford like bumili ng mga gadgets, ganyan, di ba, why not invest on something for your own health din naman. Ang nagustuhan ko talaga, hindi siya nag ng, or it doesn't left any markings in your face, especially in a long juice. Minsan, kahit yung ganitong surgical mask lang, guys, may metal kasi to na nabibend. And if you're wearing this for like more than 5 hours or 4 hours, ganyan, tapos imagine mo yung mga nag-work na nurse or doctors inside the hospital, it does leave some marks at saka ang sakit niya sa mukha, guys. And I end up getting more acne, not just here, pero dito, tinitigyawat din ako. I did not regret buying this product kasi sulit naman siya and at the same time, yes, it's expensive. Pero, di ba, bumibili ka ng mga mamahaling raketa, sapatos, at saka gadgets, at saka kung ano-ano. Pero if you can just purchase one time naman, I think it's not that bad for 5,000 pesos. At the same time, nagagamit ko naman siya on a daily basis. At saka, it does look cool. And at the same time, worth it naman siya kasi hindi siya mabilis masira. And then, you can also help the environment in a way na this is a reusable uh, mask. Yeah. Kasi mahirap din yung mga, di ba, bili ka ng bili ng mga N95 mask at saka yung mga ganito. Tapos, tatapon mo lang after one or two use, di ba? And then, at the same time, Yung mga tao kasi kinatapan lang kung saan saan eh, as compared to this one. I hope sa next version nito, uh, I would say na instead na declip yung demagnet sana para mas mabilis. Kasi one thing na napansin ko dito is ang hirap niyang tanggalin. <laughs> ang hirap niyang tanggalin. Hopefully, tumagal siya and then all I just need to do is just buy this kind of filter. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Huwag mo na rin kalimutan i-click yung notification bell so that you will be updated on my next upload. Comment down below guys kung ano yung mga questions nyo in regards with this product. And then comment din kung may mga gumagamit sa inyo. Uh, how was it so far? Sulit ba? And all sorts of stuff. At saka ano rin yung mga napansin nyo. And ingat kay mga Kenpot. And of course, hindi lang naman dahil sa pagsusot ng mask, we also have to wash our hands and always sanitize. And at the same time, you know, be healthy rin. Like, uh, stay active. And at the same time, kumain rin ng mga healthy foods. So, yun lang naman guys. Thanks for watching and you have a good day. Bye now!